Hi, in this video I will show you how to populate list box with filtered rows in Excel and we'll demonstrate this both with a normal range and a table. So let us switch to Excel. Okay, here is our first sheet where we have a normal range. We also have a table in another sheet but first we will have a look at how to achieve this with range. So let us apply filter first. For that I will use Control Shift L shortcut key and we'll apply filter on the state. So you can see that it is showing five records here, right? So in the user form as well it should show five records, right? And then uh, let us also change to uh, try to change the filter. Now we have six records, right? So user form also displays six records, the same records that are shown in the Excel sheet, right? So uh, we'll also see this with table. Let us apply a filter and we have 38 records here. And the list box shows 38 records from the table as well, right? So let me apply another filter to show fewer records okay here we have five records right and from the range we have six records so let us see how we can achieve this with VBA switching to VBA this is this is the user form and it has a list box by the name LST records <coughs> sorry and if we look at the code okay here is the main procedure that is populating that list box. Apart, apart from this, we have uh, set up controls procedure and LST records click uh, to populate text boxes when we click on the list box, on, on any record on the list box, right? So basically in, in setup controls, we are preparing our list box to have three columns to exclude column heads and to set the column widths and few settings for the text boxes as well just removing the margins which may be something new for you as well right which may be something new for you well let us focus on this procedure that actually fills the list box with records filtered records right okay I'll put a breakpoint here and execute the code so that <coughs> We can see how it works so we are in the sheet where we have a normal range and six records right so I'll click on this button to show the form and it will again take us to the code so here first we are checking uh, which sheet we are in right so we are checking the code name of the sheet active sheet dot code name and here we can see that we have two sheets having these code names SHT population underscore range and SHT population underscore table. So we are checking the name of this sheet, SHT population table. If it is in the table sheet, then we will use this statement. Otherwise, we will use these two statements to fill the range. Okay. So currently, we are in the range sheet, the sheet that has a range, normal range, not a table. So it is picking up uh, this current region. <coughs> and then uh, excluding the header row by using offset and resize right offset one means that we are uh, skipping the first row in this range within this range currently this range contains let me show you what it contains it has this address it refers to this uh, address a1 to d400 which is a1 to d400 means entire all the records without filters right so currently it is referring to all the records and because a1 has uh, headers we want to skip headers right so that is why we are using offset one offset by one row to skip headers and then when we offset by one record it will add a blank record at the end right so we need to remove that blank record as well for that purpose we are using resize right and in resize we need to specify the number of rows which, which should be like total number of rows minus one, which is 399 rows in total, excluding header row. 
So this is what we are doing here, excluding header row. That's it. And after we are done with this, let us see what we have here. Now it is referring to the range from A2 instead of A1. So header row has been excluded already. Right? Now we need to select filtered records only. For that, we can use special cells and then visible cells only. Right? Let me show you. After this, let us have a look at the address. Okay, so we have multiple addresses. Right? So this is um, 30th row, A30 to D30, the first row in the filtered records. Right? And then 172, A172 to D172, which is this row. Right? And so on. 212, 225 all the filtered records right so uh, <clears throat> this is uh, how it works when we use special cells and visible cells only we we'll we are selecting only visible cells after the filter has been applied now we can use a simple for loop to populate the list box and see let me put a break mode here and press f5 Okay, so the list, uh, sorry, the label at the top of the list box will also display the list count, which is 6. Right, here is the list count in the label, and here we have the filtered records shown in the list. And whenever I click on a record, on any record, it fills these text boxes. Right, so that we can add more functionality to edit that record. Okay, now let us switch to table. And again, I'm going to click this button to go to the code. Now we are in the table sheet. It will pick up this, it will go here, right? And to select all the records before applying the filter, we can use uh, list objects. List objects is to refer to the table in Excel. And here we can specify the name of the table as well. Let me show you. Here is the name of the table, TBL data. And we are referring to this table and then data body range. Data body range is all the records within the table excluding header and the totals row. Right? So in between all the records. Okay, let's see what we have. A2 to 400 right to d400 so it already excludes header row we need not resize and offset it so this is the advantage a table offers right so then we can again uh, select all the visible rows after the filter has been applied uh, yes we are having the filter in place already so again we'll get multiple addresses here it's the same thing now right the only difference is here in this part of the code where we have either a table or a normal range. So in case of table, we can use list objects and then data body range. Whereas in case of normal range, we can use current region to select entire region, all the rows in that region, and then we need to resize it to uh, exclude header row. Right, offset and resize. Rest is the same. Now we'll use for loop to populate the list box and then display the list count. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please write it in comments. Thanks.